Hey everybody, uh, this is my third video on the Clover Plot install series and I kind of had a little change of plans from the last video that I did. Uh, the last video I said I was going to come in here two weeks later roughly and spray the greening vegetation with Roundup and kill everything and then come back like a week later and till it. Well, we've kind of had decent conditions here to dry the soil out a little bit the past week and it's dry enough down here that I could get in and till it with my tractor. So I decided to just skip or forego waiting another two weeks and spraying and to just come in here and till it and then plant it. So, which for me, um, my opinion in general on establishing clover plots in the spring is the earlier that you can get them in, the better because um, like right now it's going to be at least another probably two to three weeks before this clover actually germinates because the soil temperatures need to be at least 50 to 60 degrees for germination to happen but you know when that clover seed is out there as soon as that ground you know you can get it out there early as soon as that ground warms up and conditions are right for germination that clover she's off to the races it's going so it's going to get established a little bit earlier and that is going to allow it to get growing and to try to outcompete some of those weeds now granted you're going to have weeds that's you know you're not going to eliminate the weeds but it's going to give that clover just a little bit earlier of a jump start so um, i decided to just forego waiting to uh, spray and just go ahead and get in here and till it the ground was a little bit wet over here on this north side, but it wasn't too bad. It actually worked up real nice. So, And I had some lime that I brought with my loader bucket, which I think I talked about that in the last video. I spread that out across here by hand with a shovel, and then I tilled it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to till it a couple, couple more times, get it worked up a little bit better. And then I'm going to take my tractor, and I'm going to drive over the whole thing and firm it up because I worked it pretty deep and the soil's just really, really mellow, really loose. And uh, I'm gonna drive over with my tractor, try to firm that soil up and then spread my seed and then drive over it with my tractor again so I get good seed to soil contact. What I don't wanna do is spread the seed right now when this soil is just really mellow because if I do that and then drive over it with my tractor, there's potential for burying that seed a little bit too deep. Because clover, you only want to plant it about an eighth of an inch deep. It's a really small seed, so it doesn't have a whole lot of energy in that seed to get through that soil and get it up and emerge to produce leaves and conduct photosynthesis. So, um, an eighth of an inch deep at the deepest. So, that's kind of my plan. Um, I don't have any fertilizer with me today. I'm planning on coming back here in the next couple weeks and spreading some fertilizer out and then just letting the rain just work that into the soil. So I uh, got the seed on the tractor. I got my little push seeder. And one other tip I have for doing these clover plots by hand when you're not actually using a drill on your seeder, when you got one of those, if you got one that goes around your neck that you spin by hand or the one I got today is just one that you push like to spread seed or fertilizer in your yard on the seeder just keep the the gate the setting to, for how much seed can come out of that hole just keep that really small and just barely let that seed come out and go over your plot once in one direction and then go over your plot once the other direction and if you get still have a little bit more seed left go over it again because I'd rather do it that way than just open that gate up and you know let it spread really fast. Because there's if you do that, you could get it spread unevenly across the plot, and you you know you might not you might end up using too much, and then you don't have enough to get the whole plot spread. So I like to just you know keep that gate closed small and just go over it you know multiple times with a light coating of seed. That way you know you're getting it evenly spread and you're covering the whole plot good so that's just kind of my tip for doing that so i'm uh, gonna go ahead and hop on the tractor here and do one more pass with the tiller and then get it firmed up and spread the seed so 
and then I'll be back. I probably won't do another video until I come back and uh, check on this plot after it gets growing and I'll be looking for weeds and spraying and I'll, uh, I'll do some more videos then on what types of chemicals to use and when to when to mow it, when to spray it, those kind of things. So um, if anybody's got any questions, you know, don't be afraid to, you know, message here on YouTube or on our Facebook page. Uh, don't be afraid to give me a call. Uh, my number is 815-590-1158. You can call me about any food plot questions, any anything related to fertility, uh, soil testing, seed rates, what types of seeds to use. Um, yeah, don't be afraid to give me a call or shoot me a text here on Facebook or a message on YouTube. So thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.